Yo, what up, Fakafano? Welcome to another episode. Today is going to be like a uh, Q&A kind of thing. I've been getting a lot of questions lately, uh, especially about this wonderful river, the Nongata. And so I'm going to be a answering all of those questions. Also be answering a few other questions that I've been getting in my DMs lately. Hopefully this is a bit of an informative video for you guys. and answers all your questions. So when you send me a question in my DMs, I'm just going to send you a link of this video. And sh hopefully it answers your questions. And if it doesn't, I'm more than happy to answer them for you. So anyway, let's catch a couple fish first. Get on the board. And then we'll, uh, we'll answer some questions. always on the piss, like all the time, constantly. All right, so anyway, one of the uh, one of the questions that you guys ask me quite frequently, I'd get this probably once a week in my uh, DMs, is, uh, bro, what flies work on the Nongata? Well, I'm here to tell you that pretty much every fly in, ever created works on the Nongata. Uh, the fish here, they're not that smart, they're, um, you get it down to them, that's the main thing, is if you get the fly down to them, they're going to do the buzz. And, uh, but, some days the fish are picky, like today, uh, usually I'll start off with a double heron copper rig, one will be a big heron copper, and the, the smaller one, well, and then, then a unweighted or a smaller bead head heron copper, but today, this bad boy's worked. I don't know. Focus. Oh, it's focusing. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, so this bad boy's worked. And I've never used that fly on the Nongi. Not once. But I was thinking uh, they were leaving our hair and cover our pheasant tails alone. Real small presentation flies, they just weren't eating. So I just looked something real buggy with orange because we're starting to get into our uh, spawning season a little bit of orange on the uh, on the body and bumfer she's away okay so one of the questions that I get asked a little bit not not too often is uh, what do I film on so I film on uh, on my on my head mount I have my GoPro Hero 5 black 5 I think, I'm pretty sure it is, that's on my head, and uh, the camera that I'm talking into now, which is switching to the GoPro, so the camera there is a Canon SX730 HS, so yeah, those are my two cameras. So another question I get asked quite a lot is do I sell my own flies? No I do not. I absolutely hate fly dyeing. I love doing uh, catching fish on my own ties but fly dyeing takes a lot of time. It's a lot of practice. Um, am I good at it? No. No I'm not. I, uh, I will definitely not say I'm a good fly tie. Can I tie flies that catch fish? Yes. But it takes time, it's a, it's definitely an art and I don't have time for that. So no I do not sell flies, 
But if you do want some flies, make sure you check out nzfishingflies.com for the best cheap reliable flies out there at the moment. Love. Mm. So we've got another question. Uh, cheer bro, love your videos. Thanks bro. Uh, just a quick question. How, what is the best way to keep your in indicator afloat? Now I've done a video on this, but I'm going to say it again. CRC silicon. Done. Beautiful. Cheap as chips. Like seven dollars. And in my opinion, way better than the loon rubbish that's twenty dollars for a little flipping thing. This has lasted me pretty much a season. This will last me a whole season. So yeah. CRC silicon. So we have a another question that gets asked pretty often. It says uh hi there. You wouldn't happen to know what the trout are eating in the Nongataha. Flies. Glow bugs. Heron coppers. Glow bugs and heron coppers. Honestly, if you want to catch a fish in the Nongataha, bring glow bugs and heron coppers of all sizes, you're going to catch fish. No matter what. Although, today. I haven't really been catching them on glow bugs or hearing coppers, but most of the time, 99% of the time, if you could use glow bugs or hearing coppers or both together, you're gonna catch. Hey, pick, 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 pick. How's it, mate? How's it, bloody gun? <laughs> bloody hell. Oh, Gary. Gary and Gazza. Look, these are the uh, two pet goats. And there's a pig. It's the first time I've seen this pig. <laughs> Blake, you're bloody flipping. Ah, oh, no. Alright, get to gather some bloody feet. Here, Gaza. Bloody Gary. There you go, mate. That's yours. Oh, mate, if you don't eat it, Gaza's gonna eat it. Here, Gaza. Oh, no. oh. oh. What do you guys want from me then? Hey? How's it mate? Hey? How's it going? <laughs> oh bloody hell. Anyway. Anyway, so uh I dropped three browns. One I played long enough to get on film. So here it is. We on boys, we on. I think it's a good fish as well. Looks like a brown. Looks like we on to a good brown. Yeah boys, let's go. Yep, it's a brown for sure. Trying to play dirty. Yeah, boys. You got a brown. Look at him. He's up against that bank trying to rub me off. Ah. Look at him. It's a good fish. It's a bloody good fish.
fuck's sake. <sighs> Another question I get asked a lot is what is the best pools to fish in the Nongata? Um, I don't know. Like, you need to go out and you need to explore because, uh, like, today, five fish has fished beautifully. It hasn't fished for, like, this well in, like, a year. And, uh, we've cracked five fish out of it. So, um, yeah, five fish is doing real well as of this video. Um, the, the lower of the upper Nongata is fishing very well at the moment. But, dude, one rain and uh, see you later alligator. All the flipping, fishing in a run upstream and then the up, upper will do real well. But you just need to go out and uh, look for yourself. Um, just go for a walk. Honestly, on any given day, I have no idea where the fish are. I just rock up to two or three main pools at each car park that I know if there's fish in there, there's going to be fish in that stretch, and um, then I just fish that stretch. So, yeah, that answers that. Okay, so another question that I get asked really, really frequently, it's almost scary, is how long should my leader be, and where should I put my indicator on my fly rod? Now, to answer the question, I have a nine foot rod here. My indicator is usually right at the tip of my rod. So about nine feet but then again if you're fishing the shallower stuff here and there's fish in there you got i'll slide it down to probably halfway down the the leader it really just depends how deep water you're fishing in but um for the nongata nine foot of leader is plenty some could argue that it's not but for me it is and i get results so nine foot of leader and if I'm fishing pools, I'll put my indicator right to the, the tip. And if I'm fishing shallower stuff like this stuff, uh, that stuff there, I'll put it kind of about halfway. It's just it's just a guess how deep um, how deep the pool or the place that you're fishing is. So I hope that's answered most of your questions. If you do have any more questions, I'll make another video eventually. So comment down below if you've if I've missed anything um sorry I've been away for so long again and it's not like it's through a lack of trying I've actually been out trying to go from for a roaring red stag and trying to get a video out for you guys but uh I've been out two or three times now and uh, I've had no luck it's not through a lack of trying um but yeah it's not much fun just watching me walk through a bush and uh yeah so but i did have a good shot at a at a boar a quite a big boar which i missed so you can check that out oh <laughs> yeah that was pretty shameful uh it was like 20 meters away and I just clean mist and uh, before that I uh, I fell down a bank it hasn't really been my week I mean when I first got here I dropped this brown and I wasn't really happy about it not at all <laughs> so oh man but yeah this, sorry if this video is all over the place um, it's just found it a good opportunity to get out a flipping yarn for you fellas get a video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you smash like if you uh want me to answer another question as i said leave it down in the comments that'll be awesome thank you all guys for sticking around i'm going out for a roaring red stag tomorrow so maybe you might have a, a couple videos bang bang but we'll see how it goes at the moment this this week has not been my week. I mean, I caught six rainbows today, which was pretty good, <laughs> but uh, I wanted a brown, and I want a stag. So, I think that's going to be the theme for my next few videos, is to get me a brown trout, landed, I, flipping, I think I hooked like four today, so, and dropped all of them. So, 
Yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys, enough blabbering. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and I'll see you later. Give me the juice. How about the coop? How about the coop? How about the shoot? Y'all gotta move.